Welcome to our 50th Novena Devotion. With Mary today we celebrate the Feast of Divine Mercy and World Health Day. Let us also welcome our preacher of the day, Father Gerard Therevim, the parish priest of the Church of Divine Mercy in Shah Alam. He will share with us the theme, Jesus, I trust in you. Today we enter another home of our parishioner Maria Das Anthony and his wife Theresa, who welcomes us and lights the candle for our feast. We rejoice because Jesus brings us God's divine love and mercy. And why do we feel His presence in our heart? Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives, all fear is gone. Be of the risen Lord be with you. And so with Easter joy, let us all begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we're grateful to God for the many blessings we have received from Him to the prayers of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us once more ask her to pray with us and for us. We have a very unusual topic and intentions for our devotion today. And that is our health. Because on the 7th of April, we celebrated World Health Day. 
We have chosen this theme because Ipoh has the largest aging population in Malaysia. The theme for 2021 is Building a Fairer and Healthier World. The date of 7th of April also marks the anniversary of the founding of the World Health Organization in 1948. The world is an unequal one. As COVID-19 has highlighted, many people have no access to health services, entirely due to the conditions in which they are born, grow, live, work and age. We pray that the vulnerable and those living in dire poverty will soon be treated with fairness and with the just distribution of health care by governments and charitable organisations. For this we pray. Intercede for us, O loving Mother. All over the world, minority groups and those living in the peripheries struggle and suffer to make ends meet with their daily income. They have poorer housing conditions and education, fewer employment opportunities, experience greater gender inequality, and have little or no access to safe environments, clean water and air, food security and health services. As we celebrate the Feast of Divine Mercy, we pray that God will move the hearts and minds of affluent people to respond and be generous in exercising compassion and mercy to the less fortunate and the deserving. For this we pray. Intercede for us, O loving Mother. COVID-19 has hit all countries hard, but its impact has been harshest on those countries which were already vulnerable, who are more exposed to the disease, less likely to have access to quality health services, and more likely to experience adverse consequences as a result of measures implemented to contain the pandemic. Let us pray for the worst-hit countries that have taken a turn for the worst. The United States, Brazil, India and France. We pray for those dying of COVID-19 virus, that they be able to be reconciled with God and their loved ones, and find closure and healing in whatever area possible. For them, we pray. Intercede for us. O oh, loving Mother. For all frontliners, doctors, nurses, health givers, and service providers, that they be protected and be blessed for their dedication and commitment in helping others in trying to combat this deadly virus. For all scientists, virologists, that they continue in their research to help find a faster and adequate remedy to eradicate the world from this growing contingent of the spread. We pray. Intercede for us, O loving Mother. Let us take a moment to pray for our own intentions and the intentions of those who have asked us to pray for them. For all these intentions, we turn to the mercy of God in the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let me now share with you the many letters that have come into our website and to our church, and they are picked at random. My dearest mother, I wish to pray for the well-being of the church in Hong Kong, 
that the faithful continue to trust in and depend on our Lord to uphold their faith and not crumble under oppressive forces from your grateful daughter. Dear Mother Mary, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer stage 4. I pray that she will be given the strength to go to the treatment. Give us as family members the strength to be with her. I ask sincerely for my mother's complete healing. I believe and trust that you will intercede for us to Jesus to perform this miracle from your loving daughter. Dear Mother Mary, I pray for all those who are coming to you and pleading for their prayers to be heard. I pray you will intercede for them so their tears will be washed away and their burdens removed, but only if it is in their best interest from the daughter you love immensely. Dear Mother Mary, I seek your intercession for my family members that they always stay close to Jesus and be rooted in Him. May they never trade God in preference for the world. May they value God and the sacraments always. Please help them to be enlightened from your grateful daughter. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, Please pray for my brother-in-law who has been diagnosed to have lymphoma, a growth in his heart. Further tests are being conducted, including the bone marrow test. He was just called to the bar and just kick-started his legal career at the age of 25. Please pray that the lymphoma is treatable and God's healing mercy upon him. Pray for the parents and family to have the strength to weather through this storm from your loving son. Now for some thanksgiving letters. Thank you for granting me the opportunity to go to confession and the sacrament of the Eucharist after more than 10 years due to the corona pandemic. Thanks for your powerful intercession for my daughter, who despite having skipped her medication for two weeks, she could still work normally and free from harm. Thanks also for granting me good health throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. I could still work at my advanced age. Thanks for keeping my family safe from your grateful son. Dear Mother, thank you for helping us journey through the tree doom as you are the mother of sorrows and understand our sorrows too. Thank you for comforting your children who lost their loved ones during the pandemic. Thank you for journeying with all the newly baptized, even though it was difficult for them to attend the RCIA program and classes. For the frontliners who risk their lives, I thank God for God's blessing and protection on them. I thank God for all our priests who renew their commitment to serve and to love the Church and the people of God. With grateful thanks from your loving sons and daughters. Let us now continue with the prayer of confidence. Mother of Perpetual Help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past we have so often sinned, but with your help we can conquer and you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me. Let me never lose my God. Amen. Let us share with Mary her prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. 
He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for giving us Mary to be our mother. She's so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding and so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. And on this Feast of Divine Mercy, a very special hymn for you. I'll sing a hymn to Mary. And this time, I will sing that for you. Brighter far is me. 
Welcome, sisters and brothers. Welcome to the Church of the Divine Mercy in Shalom. And as we reflect during this octave of Easter, during the Feast of the Divine Mercy, we reflect with Mary on what it means to say, Jesus, I trust in you. Yes, Jesus, I trust in you. The whole devotion to the Divine Mercy was revealed to St. Faustina. And today, that devotion has spread throughout the world. But what does it mean to say, Jesus, I trust in you? Do I truly have a trust in the Lord, in the risen Lord? Before we move on, I'd like to point out to you that we have the relic there of both St. Faustina and St. John Paul II, both apostles of the Divine Mercy, who strongly promoted this cause and John Paul the second was the one who de declared Divine Mercy Sunday as a reality. And so we move towards the Paschal Candle. Because the Paschal Candle is a reminder to us of the presence of Jesus in our lives. On Easter night, we remembered that in the darkness, the light was shown to us and we were told Christ our light. Yes, he is the light in the darkness. And he calls us to bring light to dark situations in our lives. He calls us to light a candle instead of cursing the darkness. And let us go now to the Blessed Mother. For after all, this is what we are about in this movie now. And here we are approaching what is our shrine, our little space to our Mother of Mercy, our Mother of Mercy. And as we look at Mary in this area, we're reminded of the words of Mary to the angel when she was called to be the mother of the Lord, just imagine she would have been a young girl, a teenager, who was called to take on this enormous task of being the mother of the Lord. She was not yet married. So what was all this about? There would have been questions going through her, but she was, consoled by the angel's words. And she said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. That really reflects what I said earlier. Jesus, I trust in you. She trusted in the Father. She trusted that God would be there in all her problems through life. And indeed, God is with us. God is with us when we encounter the difficulties that we go through. We go sometimes questioning, but can we have that hope, that trust in the Lord who provides all that we need, even though it's hard? In these days, we've also encountered another word in the Passion reading on Good Friday. Jesus said, Woman, behold your son. And to the disciple, behold your mother. To you, Mary, we come. To you, we recognize your maternal love and we praise God for you. 
you are to us that perfect disciple who followed your son. And indeed in John 2.5 you tell us, do whatever he tells you. As you told the servants at Cana, may we do whatever the Lord tells us. May we fulfill the mission that the Lord has for each one of us. And yes, as we look at our theme for the year, hope, believe, live, and live. We see Mary as a woman of hope. We see Mary who put her hope and trust in the Lord. I am the handmaid of the Lord. She believed in the words of the angel and she lived that life to the fullest. Her life was not an easy life. Just imagine being the mother of God. To have your child going lost when, you are, when he was 12. To have your heart wondering what on earth was happening. And to find that you cannot understand this child who is growing and become more than you can ever imagine. Mary lived through all that. And she gave of her life to God freely and generously. Yes, Lord, help us to be like Mary. Help us to give of ourselves completely. And as we look at you, O oh Jesus, on the cross for us, we are reminded of the Eucharistic words that you give us. Take Bless, break, give. Take us, Lord. Bless us that we may be blessings unto others like Mary was. Break us from our sin and our selfishness and anything that is not of you. And give us to a hungry world. Help us, Lord. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, King of Kings, we trust in you. Amen. Together, let's pray the Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, and sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Prayer for the Sick Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your sufferings, and if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Amen.
have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray, O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Thank you to our hosts. We came into the family of Maria Das Anthony and his wife, Teresa Maria Das. Thank you for opening your home and helping us celebrate our 50th anniversary of the Novena. And to my very good friend, Father Gerard Theravium, all the way from Divine Mercy Church in Shah Alam. Thank you for your sharing. I know we're going to get overwhelming response, so you have to come back during the year. And to all our viewers worldwide, thank you for sharing this novena with all your loved ones. You must subscribe to keep us going. To our benefactors and our friends, thank you for your prayerful 
support. We end this as we are still in the season of Easter with this beautiful hymn, Easter Song. Jesus Christ is no longer dead.